If you can't get your drums big and punchy, then check this out. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways of using parallel processing to either add punch or sustain to your drum sound. Okay, so check this out. This is our drum mix at the moment without any parallel processing. All right, so it sounds pretty cool, but let's say we wanna add a bit more impact to our sound, get a little bit more attack on the kick and the snare and the toms. So what we can do is grab all the drums that we wanna parallel process and send them to a bus. So I've got all of my kicks going to a bus here, all of my snares going to a bus, all of my toms to a bus, all of my cymbals to a bus, and all of my room mics to a bus. So on these buses, I have a send set up, and I'm going to send four. And then on that send, I'm making sure that it's being sent to my drum bus, bus one. Now we're gonna use this send to add some punch and attack to the drums. So I'm using Slate's VMR, and I have their FG Bomber, which is like a transient designer. Then I have the FGS Brit 4K EQ, and then we have the FG401 VCA compressor. So let me solo this bus, turn all these off, and show you what's going on. Just a little bit of transient design there. And bring in the EQ. So we're just adding that bottom end punch and then the snappy top end. And now our compressor. So it's really grabbing it and it's not a fast attack and it's not a fast release. So we're letting the transient through a little bit and then we're letting it cling onto it. And this is adding a lot of punch and snap to the drum sound. It's not gonna really add any sustain to the drum sound. It's just gonna make it punchy. So let me play up that threshold and show you what happens. So around there sounds pretty good. And we've just got a four to one ratio. And yeah, kind of a medium slow attack and a medium release. Okay, now let's have a listen to what this sounds like when we blend it in with our drums. So you can really hear that it's making these drums punch a little bit harder. There's a little bit more transient now coming through. You can hear the attack on that kick, snare and the toms. That extra little bit of high end and low end that's been added on the EQ. And then the slow attack of the compressor and the slow release are just adding some nice punch to the sound. Now let's say we want to do the opposite. We want to add more sustain to the drums. We want to make these drums sound massive, hearing all of the overtones in the room sound really being thrown up into your face. So what we're gonna do is grab all of our drums again, send them to a second send. And for me, I sent this to bus 33. Don't ask me why I use bus 33, I just did. Uh, there's plenty of other buses here, but I chose 33 for some weird reason. And the same deal, make sure the output of this send is going to our drum bus, bus one for me. Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna use more of an 1176 style compressor. I'm gonna go fastest attack, fastest release, um, you can play around the ratio and see what you like. I was just enjoying the four to one ratio. So now let's dial this in. Let's get the drums really crushing in this and then make sure that our output volume is the same as the peak volume when it's turned off. We're still hitting around the same peak volume, but it just sounds a lot louder because everything's just being um, saturated and compressed and brought up into our face, even though we're actually achieving the same peak loudness. So let's turn this down now and let's blend this into our mix and see if we can get these drums sounding nice and big and full with lots of sustain. So 
So you can hear that makes a huge difference. Now we have both of those going at once there. We've got the VCA compressor adding a little bit more smack and attack to the drum sound. And then we've got the 1176 adding a lot of crunchy sustain and bringing out all that room sound and resonance in the drums. And it's making it sound massive. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like when we bypass this. Now to be fair, yes, we do lose a little bit of volume, but at the same time, you're missing that sustain and attack that these compressors are adding to our drum mix. And it's just such a great and easy way of adding punch to your drums or making them sound big and aggressive. Now for anyone who's just using stock plugins in Logic, here's an example of how you can achieve the same kind of effect. So first of all, I'm just grabbing the Vintage EQ collection and the Graphic EQ. You can use any EQ really, but I thought I might use this one and I'm boosting some 4K and 8K for that top end and a little bit of 125 Hertz for that low end bump that I want a little cut around 500 hertz and 2K. And then follow that up with some compression. And we're doing a four to one ratio with the vintage VCA, slowish attack, slowish medium release. And that sounds like this. And then we can blend that in with our drums. So a very similar effect to using the Slate plugins. And then on our bus where we're trying to add the sustain to the drums, we can load up the Logic stock compressor and we're gonna use the Vintage FET or the Studio FET. You could play around with either of those. I mean, you could use any of these compressors. The idea is just a fast attack, fast release and see what sounds cool to you. But just to try and put it in the same box as the UAD 1176, I'm gonna use the Vintage FET. We've got the fast attack, fast release, four to one ratio, and we're just crushing it like this. Which sounds pretty cool. It's a little bit dirtier than the UAD one. The UAD is like a little bit cleaner and I feel like it brings out more of the room sound and everything the drums a bit better, but this still has a cool vibe about it. And they're different compressors, so they're gonna react a bit differently. This one has a little bit more crunchiness about it. Now let's blend that in. And that's pretty cool. You can still achieve an awesome parallel processing sound just with stock plugins. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. Hopefully you found this stuff useful and you can go get your drums slamming now. I'll see you guys in the next video.